For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason. When farmers go to their federal crop insurance agents in March, they may have a new decision to make. The new yield exclusion option may allow some producers to increase their covered yields. Yield exclusion, or YE, will not be available in every county or on every covered crop. We'll explain how the availability is triggered in a moment. It was created in conference on Capitol Hill as part of the 2014 Farm Bill. Now, consequently, says University of Illinois ag economist Bruce Sherrick, it's a little quirky, but really valuable. But the yield exclusion is really important because it provides the following. The ability for you to drop a yield out of your APH calculation for coverage purposes only based on a set of conditions. Here is how YE allows a producer to exclude a yield from their APH calculation. If the farm is in a county or contiguous to a county that had a prior year yield less than 50% of its prior 10-year average, then the farm is eligible for a yield to be dropped from the APH calculation. Uh, the yield dropped is from the year the county experienced the 50% or greater decrease. Because the database used to calculate rates still contains the original 10 years of data, the rate yield does not change. But the coverage amount, well, it does change. This is um, uh, being primarily explained both in the RMA fact sheets, some of the things we did on FarmDoc, what we're doing going forward as a change in your effective coverage. A way of thinking about it is instead of picking 65, 70, 75, 80, 85 percent coverage of a number, you're kind of picking bushels and calculating what the implied coverage would have been. It's not a very complicated program if you think about it in those terms. The decision can be changed and or updated in future years. Like other crop insurance decisions, previous year's decisions remain in play until a change is requested. For University of Illinois Extension, I'm Todd Gleason.